I'm Tai Singh, I'm one of the programmers at the Forbidden Worlds Film Festival, and I think it was me and Dave in the video shop one weekend discussing that all the great genre film festivals around the UK are held everywhere but Bristol. As diverse and rich as the film culture is in Bristol, no one was really showing straight-to-video horror sci-fi movies about aliens who can melt people's eyes and, you know, then turn into werewolves. And so we kind of wanted a film festival that would embrace sort of video shop culture. Because we have 20th Century Flicks in Bristol, and now within 20th Century Flicks we've got the two cinemas in there, is we could all convene on a Monday night and just sit down and watch films together. Because the cinema there is so cosy, it just feels like a group of mates watching a film. I think we kind of figured that you could translate that tiny space into something massive. I've lived in Bristol for almost 10 years and I had no idea this big cinema existed. It's attached to the aquarium and it's sort of just been hidden, dormant for a while and sort of out of action for, I think, 12 years. I've spent the last decade thinking that someone had filled it with water and fish. As stupid as that sounds, that's what a lot of people assumed. The photos cannot do it justice because you can't tell how high above that ceiling is, for example, or the fact that the screen behind the camera here is just, just huge. It's just seeing the size of the screen, just going to the projection room and actually seeing the original 70mm IMAX film projector, which is the size of a car, it's still there. Because the shot was turning 40, all of the films were from 1982, except for the first one, which kicked it off, which was Dracula AD 1972. We chose a couple of big hitters, like Blade Runner, Mad Max 2, and Poltergeist, and then in keeping with the whole vibe of a video shop, little video nasties like Basket Case or a weird martial arts fancy film from Taiwan like Thrilling Bloody Sword. I'm still overwhelmed by how many tickets we sold and, and how full <laughs> the screenings were. The whole vibe was just wonderful. It's definitely the highlight of my year so far. You know, getting people together in a space like this, in Bristol, watching these kind of films is an amazing thing because it's been such a big success. And I think there's a real appetite uh, for a film festival like this in Bristol. As someone who's worked in video shops all my life, it feels almost like an atonement. Like almost saying, like, I'm sorry we made you watch Mad Max 2 on your little TV. And now, you know, you're watching 4K restoration in the IMAX because of the video shop. <laughs>